What's up everyone? Thought I'd do a video for anyone interested or looking into a Bluetooth speaker. It is a nice snowy cold day right now in Colorado. So got a little extra time and thought I would do this review for people and hope it helps and I'll do my best to explain stuff and see how it goes. So this is the Motorola. It's called the Motorola Soul or Motorola like Soul One Republic. So this is the smaller version. They do have a bigger version. Uh, I decided to go with this. I've been looking or was looking for a Bluetooth speaker. Um, you know, something that sounded good, obviously something with good battery. Um, all of these things have tons of features. Something too is sound. I mean, obviously you want good sound, right? I will tell you that if anyone who knows me, I do tons of research. I did a ton of research and I looked at this and I looked at a ton of other speakers, Best Buy, you know, everywhere I could find speakers. I narrowed it down to this. This was the best one. This is the best bang for the buck. I think I paid $60 for it. Um, I've got it pulled up on the iPad now and you can get it for like $40 or $50 on Amazon. It's great. It's an absolute great deal. I'd highly recommend this. Uh, so I picked this one up and I got it off Amazon. This is the gray or charcoal color one, black, I don't know. It's great. Um, it's got a little port here, I guess, if you will. Uh, you probably can't see it. There you go. little port, if you can see it. Um, I mean, I guess it does help a little bit, but it's really not a big deal. Um, this thing does actually sound very well. Um, I've taken this, I take this camping, I take it backpacking. It's, it's really great. It's really great and portable, and so I'll show you it. So when you buy it, it comes with the Motorola deck, or the sole, whatever. Um, it comes with this little case. Um, I don't know, neoprene on the back, uh, and it slips in here pretty nice, and it's snug. I'm not gonna put it all the way in, uh, but uh, there you go. So, and it'll still play music through this, which is kind of nice, so it'll stay protected. So it comes with that, and it comes with this charging cord and wall adapter, and I don't know what the voltage is on it. It's pretty low, but like you can use your iPhone or cell phone USB charger. Um, and it works with this. It's really nice. So that's always coming in handy. And a 3.5 millimeter jack, which I'll show you some of the features on this in just a minute. So to power it on, you press and hold this button here and you can hear it fire up. Battery full. And it's really cool because it has like voice commands. So it tells you the battery life, which is cool. And I'll just show you some things on top here. You have your volume up, your volume down. Uh, there, this also is a speaker phone, I guess. I really haven't ever used it for that, or like a Bluetooth speaker. I haven't really used it for that, solely for music. Haha, <laughs> Dexel, get it? Anyway, this is um, this little Motorola actually serves as multiple functions. You can do pause, um, skip songs, which I'll show you, and you can also do an outdoor and indoor mode. On the side here, this is for pairing. This is allows you to do Bluetooth or uh, Bluetooth, or this has a heist mode where if you have like friends over, they can play a song and it's exactly as it says, heist. So there's a an input and output for your 3.5 millimeter jack, which is cool. There's a little light here, which you're not gonna see right now, but it shows the battery life basically and the power button. So I'm gonna turn on the iPad and I've got um, my um, Pandora up and I'm just gonna play a song. Um, I'm gonna turn the volume down for a minute, but it is playing and obviously you're not gonna hear the quality. I will tell you, this thing is actually very impressive. It gets pretty loud. Um, so, this is playing um, Flowrider right now. So I can volume up on the iPad and it turns it up here or I can press volume up and down on here. When you do that, when you do that, you can see it voluming up and down, hopefully, on the iPad. So it's kind of cool. So, I'm volume it down for a sec. So what I want to show you is, if you press this button once, it pauses it. Unpause, very cool, right? Twice. Okay, I, yep, wonderful, a Pandora commercial. Thanks a lot, Pandora.
Anyway, twice we'll do that. Because it's on a stupid commercial, I'm going to press and hold this and you'll hear outdoor. So outdoor mode, mode rather, geez, just boosts the volume, takes away kind of some of the mid bass, and it just increases the volume. So indoor. Indoor again just kind of tones it down. And outdoor just gets louder and less bass. Outdoor. Probably hear it. The treble went up a little bit. Mid bass went down. Indoor. So there's that. So when I'm outside, like in the garage, I'll have my iPad up here, and then I'll take this down to the garage. And uh, it, it does lose signal a little bit, like once I get closer to like my car. But overall, like it does hold a signal pretty well. And um, I mean, I don't know what the distance in my place is, but it's probably like 30 to 40 feet and it does just fine. Um, and I mean, if you're really taking it that far, I don't know if you have better options for audio, but um, the outdoor mode is nice, obviously outside, because it just increases the volume a little bit. So again, just on Pandora, ooh, weekend radio. Love the weekend. Damn, commercials, like what the hell? So, just volume down on there. Um, so, as far as quality, I'll just say this because it's commercial. Quality, absolutely great. Like I said, I've taken it backpacking. There's a rubberized back on here, and it definitely helps for like slipping or anything if you put it on a surface that's at an angle. Uh, let's see, what else? I haven't really dropped it or anything, thank goodness, but um, the battery life's really good, and it does tell you, sure tells you when it's low. And obviously when you power it up, it tells you the current battery level, which is cool. All right, so this is some weekend. And again, pause is once. And I don't know the song, so I'm just gonna skip it. Oh yeah, good song, love this song. So I'm gonna pause this, it's a great song. So what I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna switch from the iPad and I'm going to show you the auxiliary cable. If you take the auxiliary cable, so I'm old school. I have a 160 gig iPod Classic, which, come on, if you're a music lover, I'm sorry, but your phone's not going to do shit for music. This is 160 gig. I have 80 gigs of music. I have over 12,000 songs. And guess what? It's commercial free. Sure, Pandora, Spotify, all those are really cool. Um, I do enjoy them. They take up data though, data costs money, and whatever. I'm not that cheap, but um, I do use Pandora. I use Pandora at home a lot and Spotify. I like them. Uh, just commercials, they suck. When I'm in the car and I'm moving and I'm taking my kiddos to school, going to work, whatever, going hiking or something, I wanna have commercial free music and that's where this bad boy comes in. So you can go to the input here, of course, and then I'm gonna go to my iPod and connect it on top, and obviously you can connect anything to it. Um, I'm listening to Psych Morrison right now, so shout out to Steve Mead, huh? Anyway, so you can volume up. My volume set at like 80%, I think, on the iPod. Um, so, let's skip this song real, real quick. This is a good song, too. So, you can still volume it up on here, even though your volume's up on here. So, as you can hear, as the volume gets louder, it's so, good song. The song beats too in the car. Yeah, I don't want to get in trouble for copyright or anything. So, anyway, but you can see it works with the iPod. Very cool. So, that's something I really do like. And again, when I'm out backpacking, I take this and these two things come with me. And it's wonderful. I can listen to music while I'm at my campsite, not usually on the trail. I usually am listening to my you know, headset or whatever. But um, anyway, that's, that's really it. I, there's not much more to say. Um, again, Amazon, I just looked it up and there's a red one on there for like 40 bucks and this one's like 44 with free, free, free shipping. And I gotta say, I listen to a ton of these and when you go to Best Buy or whatever, and I love Best Buy, I bought items from them. But this thing, for what it is, it sounds damn good, and it does get pretty damn loud. Considering its size, this is no home theater, this is nothing of that sort. Considering its size, they do have one, I believe, that's smaller, that's about half this size, and it was okay. I just, this one sounded better. This actually had like a little bit of mid-bass. It was perfect. And they also have one that's even bigger than this, which is like $150. 
and I did listen to it and I wasn't that impressed. This one sounded just as good to me and it was less expensive and smaller. So I went with this one. So anyway, I hope this helps. Um, feel free to comment and I guess it just changed songs for me. So um, feel free to comment and you know, if you like this video, whatever, like it. Um, anyway, I hope it helps. If you have questions, let me know. But this thing's pretty wicked, so, and it does uh, get pretty loud. And I think I just showed up. <laughs> For some reason, it's not very. There we go. Is we fucking when we leave the club or not? I ain't spending cash for nothing. I wanna see you take it off. I'ma pop this bottle, you 